Uh, I'm Dave Boland. I live in Bob Cage in Ontario, Canada, which is northeast of Toronto. Well, I've always been interested in nutrition, but as probably everyone watching this knows, it can be pretty hard to figure that all out, dig through it. So it's been a real progression, but about, um, I'd say about 11 years ago, um, I stumbled upon ideas about um, eating just fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds and that raw would be the best but you know most people can't do that so the most you can would be great now well okay if raw is the best then that's what I should do so I did that for a while but I ate a lot of I did what a lot of people I think on raw do um, I did a lot of nuts and seeds a lot of avocado a lot of oil so it was a very high fat but I I felt amazing. I was overweight at the time. I lost a lot of weight, and um, but I found it very difficult to maintain because of social reasons and because of uh, food addictions that I had. Um, and then when Levi was born, who's nine now, so that was about a year later, my wife and I, who have been vegetarian for quite a long time and more or less vegan, that, I know that probably tweaks people, but more or less vegan, almost 99%. Um, and on and off raw, we decided that since we knew that and really believed that raw was the best, that that's how we should raise our son, even if we were not able to stay on it completely. So, so that's what we did. And um, it worked out uh, pretty well, but um, there was a few things that we were unhappy with in uh, Levi's health uh, in the first couple of years. So that's when we contacted Dr. Doug and he just, he set us straight very simply. It's like, you just need to simplify everything and just fruits and vegetables, you know, a few nuts and seeds, but don't worry about all that and you need to do the 80-10-10. And I read his book and it made total sense. So I switched Levi to that and um, any of the issues that he had were gone and now I mean I think you might see another video of him he's vibrant he's never been sick um, all his friends get sick all the time at school he goes to public school he's never sick he can outlast any of his friends in energy he's just awesome and so we're very happy with the results all right we're doing it Levi's first triathlon some parents may be concerned that well is 80 10 10 the correct ratio for a child and did you or be allowing oh, more fat right yeah so yeah i skipped over that so um dr d did say well for a kid you know for levi you could do probably or you should do probably about 30 to 40 percent but um fat we were drinking? fat oh sorry yeah fat um and you know and and then drop the carbohydrates down and so we did that, but we were more giving him like 50 or 60% fat. Mm -hmm. um, and we were doing all these complicated combinations, which as a new parent new to this, and we had nobody to talk to, we had no idea how to do this, nobody to talk to. You know, I was worried, always, I gotta make sure he's got all the right nutrients. So I was putting all these different vegetables and everything into the blender and mixing it all together. and. And it was a lot of work and it was very stressful. So 80, 10, 10 or, you know, giving them 30% fat, it just made it so much easier It dropped the stress and he got super healthy from it. So it, it was obviously the right thing to do. Good deal. Yeah. Uh, what might you, do you have any advice for other parents? Because like you said, <clears throat> sometimes it is tricky for parents who have already established habits. Right. But at the same time, you recognize that raw food was the ideal and it's the way you prefer to feed yourself even if it was really easy to do. Right. Uh, yeah, I, for sure. I mean... So what do you recommend for parents who, are, who might be struggling themselves but are raising kids? Keep moving in the right direction yourself, but don't be afraid to raise your kid from birth uh, the way you know is right, even if you're struggling with it, because you're giving him a gift like Levi doesn't, that's our son, um, he doesn't he doesn't want any other food because he doesn't know he has no um, history with it he's never he's never eaten it he's not connected to it emotionally so he does he's not interested in the food the other kids are eating and I think that's really the key 
you know, as adults or even as younger children often struggle because they've, they're already addicted. They've already tasted all the other stuff. They've already got all the emotional connections. You know, when you're a good boy, you get ice cream. Um, so, and that's hard to overcome. I, I know it is for me, but Levi doesn't have to overcome anything because he's been eating the right foods from the beginning. So give your child that gift of doing it right from the beginning, even if you're, you can't do it. Um, I mean, I had he, an yeah. interesting analogy of, or maybe it, you think it applies. Uh, if a parent smokes cigarettes, they don't want the kids. Right. They may know that not smoking cigarettes is the healthiest thing. Right. And they may not be able to get themselves off cigarettes, but they certainly don't raise their kids smoking cigarettes just because they smoke cigarettes. Right. Yeah, I think that's exactly right. And some people will give you funny looks about it. Oh, how come you're making your kid eat, you know, just fruit? And you're, but you're eating other things, and you know usually those aren't people that are that believe in raw. So part of it comes from that. But um, you know the truth is that we're not making him eat anything. He wants to eat the fruits and vegetables. He often will say when we're we'll be out somewhere, and people's eyebrows rise because he'll, Ma, I can't wait to get home and eat my salad. I just want to go home and eat my salad. And people look like what kid says that? But he really loves it because that's that's what he's grown up with. That's what he knows, and he knows, he recognizes that um, he's healthy when all the kids around him aren't. He recognizes that he never gets sick, and and they do, and they miss hockey, and they miss the fun things, and he never misses anything, and that is a big deal to a nine-year-old boy. So that really reinforces that what he's doing is good. Levi really wanted to be able to share this with um, other kids and their parents who maybe don't know how to do it. So um, he wanted to um, have a website and make some videos. So he's got a couple videos that he's made making um, his uh, f some of his favorite food. So he has a website. It's called Raw Food Levi, and um, he also has a Facebook page, uh, which is also Raw Food Levi. Uh, you can send an email to hit the emails there and we'll, um, you can connect with us. We'd love to talk to anybody who has any questions. And Levi's also written his own book, which is pretty awesome. He wrote it himself and uh, you can get that as well and uh, check it out. See what a kid who's eight years old thinks about the whole thing, what his life's like, uh, what, um, what he eats when, and all of his favorite recipes. So you can just go to the website and get all that information. Perhaps you're just starting a raw food diet and you're looking for tips and recipes to succeed. Or maybe you're an athlete looking to reach new levels in your pursuit of fitness. Or if your goal is simply to experience the highest expression of your health. It's simple. 801010 is the answer. It's your guide to looking, feeling, and performing your best. Visit foodandsport.com now and pick up your free gift which will have you on your way to understanding and using the 801010 diet.